This is Michelle Hughes from Ageless and Timeless. Today's podcast is brought to you by Water and Wellness. Recently, I had the opportunity to visit Water and Wellness at their offices, and I can tell you that as far as you and I are concerned and our health is concerned, this is one of the most important places that you can go to find water that is purified and products that will help your longevity and your overall health. Visit waterandwellness.com to learn how you can take control of your drinking water and learn about those natural additives to optimize your health and longevity. Contact Stacy at 877-296-6880. Use the Ageless code and you'll get a 20% discount on all your products. My love for you is immeasurable. My respect for you demands your ageless, timeless, lace and fineness, your beauty and elegance. South News from Ageless and Timeless. Speaking, Speaking to you today, today from, from rainy, rainy Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. And that's very unusual, as you know. Um, but we are having a very good uh, guest today. Our guest name is Justin Cranson. And he is what is called a health performance coach. So Justin, I wanted you to join in with us and tell us a little bit about who you are, where you came from, how you got to this place, and most importantly, what is a health performance coach? Oh, hi, Michelle. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me on. I've been a performance coach for over 22 years, and that means that I had an incredible mentor that was doing sports performance mostly. And with athletes making people better, making them more coordinated, more faster, run faster, jump higher, get stronger, and develop more coordination. And so I start out as more of a speed, strength coach, coordination coach, and now I'm doing more nerve work for sports performance so I can actually work with the sensory and motor nerves. And, and with the motor nerves, we can quantifiably get some about 20% stronger right away. And it gets them out of pain as well. I treat concussions. So athleticism.com is my website. And I've had athleticism.com for over 22 years and worked with some of the best athletes and teams in most major sports that uh, you've heard about. And so that's what a performance coach does is basically develops coordination and whole body, whole brain work at a higher level. And then I also, it's a lot of it's really therapeutic. And so uh, that's, that's what I do day to day. Well, so who was your mentor that led you to this path? His name was Dean Brittenham. He was a legendary track and field coach in Nebraska, strength coach in the NBA and NFL and MLB. And his son was the head strength coach for the New York Knicks for 25 years about. And so he was just unbelievable in the Brittenham name and, and sports performance was big time. And how did you interact or intersect with him? Wow, oh, it's such a great story. I read an article in the newspaper about this guy making athletes better athletes at a Scripps clinic in La Jolla, California. And I quit my job and went in and said, I want to do this. And he said, okay, just show up and we'll start to uh, see where it goes. And sure enough, I took over the, the program when he retired and grew it into a bunch of locations and, and have a book coming out in a couple months. What, what's the book called? Athleticism, whole body plus whole brain equals performance. Oh, cool. Do you have a copy of it yet or that you can Not show yet. us? For, okay. We're a couple months away. Okay, good. Well, we'll talk about that later because I know people will want to read that book, our, our viewers. Um, so, so when I was reading your profile, I noticed like all these different names of uh, Adam Mattis, Gonzalo, uh, the Gonzalez Muscle Reset, Athleticism, uh, well, Athleticism Performance Coach, Primal Reflex Release. Tell us a little bit more about some of these buzzwords that define what health performance really is and who these influences were other than your mentor that have made you who you are today? Well, there's so many great people out there doing some incredible work. I was blessed early on 
to find some of the best in the business ever. These are legendary pioneers that start off in it. These guys were working with the nervous system, Michelle, years ago before anyone even knew about it. I mean, John Imes, he, he's my Nobel Prize winner. The guy can literally get rid of pain instantly just through a primal reflex of the body. So uh, it, it, when you get a trauma, the nerves just, just grab onto that trauma and that's a pain reflex. So until you can reciprocally inhibit it back to a pain-free, relaxed state, which is our primal primal state, uh, people can hold on to pain and nerve pain for, for ages and ages and maybe forever. So uh, I've always been blessed to work with some of the best in the, in the business. A Gonzalez muscle reset technique is another uh, basically way to neurologically lengthen the resting length of a muscle, which is phenomenal. Uh, Aaron Mattis has his active isolated stretching AIS system. It just basically works how the body works under movement. So when you contract one side, you lengthen the other side. Well, that's exactly how we stretch. And we stretch every muscle at three different angles, the, the belly, the medial and lateral aspect of it. And there's a thorough, thorough program for the lower and upper body. It's literally a new lease on life when you get stretched or learn the stretching system. It's absolutely phenomenal. So what about PR, PRP? That's the kind of the buzzword today in, in the sports world for, um, um, okay, so, so what about PRP? Uh, Pla about platelet, platelet rich plasma. So, well, I'm hearing from people who, in the sports world that they inject you with your own, first they centrifuge your platelets and they inject you and this is supposed to be a way to release uh, pain because they're bringing circulation to the area of trauma. Do you know about this treatment and have you ever tried it? You know, I, I, haven't, I haven't had it done on me. Uh, a lot of athletes are, are doing stem cell work and, and similar stuff to this. And uh, some have results, some don't. My, my whole thing is a more less invasive work to where we can actually talk to the body and not have to have surgery, not have to have injections, not have to have foreign substances you know, or different things put in your body. So my whole realm is, is to teach you a program to develop foundation where you're long and stable. And, and when you're there and you're charged, your body has that negative ion charge. When you get those stressors out and, and you have that length and stability, joint stability, integrity, you're not going to break down as much. And, and so I, I tend to stay away from all the medical stuff for the most part uh, and, and just rev on just working with the body the way it's meant to be worked with. So Justin, what role does the mental attitude play in your work? The mental attitude of your, of your client or your patient? Well, we do a lot of mental work with our clients and it's a lot about creating visualizations and more the intangible. So uh, clients will replay their, their next event over and over and over and over and over again. So once they finally get there, they've already won it uh, a thousand times in their head. They've already been there. They've already done it. It just, it's ingrained in their system and they believe it in their DNA subconsciously. They believe it. They've already done that. So the mental aspect is a huge part of it. Uh, and it's basically, it goes into a lot of it is awareness, semantics, rituals throughout your day, the, having that, that uh, visualization, those techniques to actually get micro with that, taste it, feel it, touch it, smell it, and uh, already have done it a million times. So we talk a lot about that, but you have to be super positive on everything you do. You won't hear me say, uh, don't and try and hate and like all those words that are like ah oh, their body just cringes when you say them right so, all the negative the negative the negative affirmations rather than the positive you you try to help people right. to steer away from and and to manifest by visualization what they're going to be like when they do the things that you're doing in in the future is that is that a fair assessment 
Oh, yes, so true. <laughs> yeah, well, we had a guest on uh, recently who is a organizational, he's a psychologist, and he explained to us that so much of results comes from the mind. Of course, we know that what we think, what we, what, what we actualize is often what we're thinking. Our thoughts create our, our behavior. So he was just, the reason I was parroting him is that uh, to see how it works within your domain is that uh, it makes so much sense. I mean, he said, imagine what you want to be, what you look like, be very real about it in terms of the detail, the graphics, and then you will start to uh, actualize based on your belief system. So that obviously plays a role. You have to be a little bit of part psychologist, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. So what, what, if you can, without giving names, what's been the toughest case that you've faced with your clients? Oh, the toughest case? Yeah, the case, the, the one that really took a lot out of you, but the challenge was big, but the results were great. Well, gosh, I mean, everyone has different challenges. Uh, uh, I think there, there can be more severe injuries than not. I think Timmy Reyes was a top 10 pro surfer and he did a floater on a 20 foot wave at Mavericks and blew out his whole knee, ACL, PCL, MCL and, and rehab that and got him back in the top 10. I mean, that was a big one. Ardo Sari was one of the top street skaters and he blew out his knee and I rehabbed that, got him back. And uh, right now we're doing concussion work with lots of athletes and, and, uh, one WSL surfer, female surfer, uh, will start her tour. So we'll see how she does this year. But she had three last year and rehab those. So uh, I, I'm, it's, it's, uh, those are the more challenging ones where there are more serious injuries. And, but performance-wise, I think everyone's looking to jump up to that next level. And Matt Furbringer has his name on the Manhattan Beach Pier. John Mallinger jumped up 90 spots in one year on the PGA Tour. John Cook stayed in the top five for several years on the PGA Champions Tour. He hadn't won in 10 years, and after four sessions, he won his first tournament in a decade. I mean, it's just the list goes on and on as far as all these amazing top performers. Some people know about, some don't, but these are actual, some of the best athletes in the world, and in golf and surfing and volleyball and, and, and even more. How did they find out about you? Doctor referrals. Okay. Yeah. The doctors, the doctors are great at diagnosing, but they don't actually have programs for them to go on. Mm -hmm. They have really good time schedules, but they're just, they're missing the program. So they'll send them to me to actually do the nerve work and get those results and open them up. And so uh, one of the docs I worked with, Tim Brown, he's uh, really famous in the beach world as well. And he's co-medical director of the WSL, which is the surf league. And we had six of the top athletes uh, in, in six different sports at one time. I mean, oh, these guys boy. are like, like some of the best in the world in six different sports. So a lot of doctor referrals will work with and that network that way. So, so are you holistic in your approach with respect to, uh, oh, okay, I hit the nerve, right? Okay, so what is the protocol? Let's say you're doing all the hands-on work, but what are you asking them to do, your clients to do when they leave you and they're at home and about to go to their refrigerator or their cabinet a pantry and, um, also about their supplementation program. What what do you put together as a an organic approach, or a package? Well, our athleticism, the whole body plus whole brain equals performance book will give that whole roadmap for you. My whole intent is to empower them. So I can't be everywhere at all times. So what I like to do is teach them the actual programs, teach them the stretching, the joint stability, the warm up, the postures, the coordination stuff that they can take on the road with them and actually do a, a warm up in figure eights and nonlinear stuff and actually get in a flow with the universal rhythm. So they actually get in a flow and a rhythm. And 
nutritionally, we can muscle test. I do lots of applied kinesiology, testing the reflex of someone's body to see how they respond to certain things. So we could show them what they should stay away from, what they rev with, uh, what would be great fuel sources for them. Like grass-fed butter is an amazing fat that, that had been talked about but kind of fell away and, and everyone's into the, the oils now. But, but that's such a medicinal thing that people could do just to add that into their routine to get those good fats in your system and, and mix it up a little bit. And so we give them the nutrition on supplement wise. I stay away from a lot of consumption products for the most part, uh, but uh, there's, there's so many great things uh, that you can take out there. The plant-based proteins, there's some amazing sources. Alphabetic is a one that I really love. It's not over-processed to death. There's uh, glutathione, there's glucosamine, there, there's like, there's, there's the vitamin C's, there's, there's the multis. I mean, all the, the normal things, uh, amino acids that, that they can take and the minerals that they can take, the Celtic sea salt as that mm -hmm. natural salt in the system that they could take. So all those are different uh, uh, things that for consumption wise that we, I scratch a surface in the book, but I don't dive too much because I'm not a nutritionist, but I understand how the, the body revs and, and obviously organic and non-GMO and really eating clean and balanced and getting lots of different foods in your body would be good for that diversity. So uh, another one of our guests, Justin, was a, um, is, uh, the CEO, or actually the co-founder of Organics, the company that uh, is out of uh, Texas. And they, they do a, an iodine um, liquid that you know, is good for the thyroid, good for metabolism. But they also have uh, you know, many, many other products. All of them are unpasteurized or, and, and organic. Um, some of them are, um, what do you call it? Not, um, well, well, they try to stay away from anything that has chemicals. So do you advocate that, that approach as well for your clients? Oh, definitely. Yeah, get, the clean food and clean beauty segment is the biggest thing ever. And uh, yeah, this iodine is a great thing. I mean, I know Aaron uh, over at Q360 Club, he recommends that iodine for everybody too. And my, Actually, he, he, carries, he carries that particular organic product. Awesome. The iodine yeah. that is a, that is at Q360 Club in Malibu, and um, where else? I saw it a couple of other places, but yeah. So people like it because it's a little bit thicker. I think it's you know, it's it's totally organic, and um, so unlike a lot of iodines that are on the market that are a lot thinner in their consistency and not nearly as effic efficacious. But so, yeah, that is one. And then uh, I was trying to think of the other. You said something about a plant based protein. What was the name of that one? I wanted our viewers to know if oh. one they wanted to buy. Oh, I love alphavetic.com. Alphavetic. Okay. Yeah, How do you spell it? A L A L A L F F A V E D I C dot com. Oh, so it's a. Okay. So it's a Vedic, V E D I C. Yeah. So, okay. So is it, no. Ayurved is it an Ayurvedic product? No, it's just, uh, that's what the name of it. And it, they're, they're just all different types of proteins and, and even more in there. So you'll love it. Yeah. They're fantastic. It's got teas and minerals and, and all on the site. So that's, he's one of the most brilliant, brilliant minds in, the, in uh, medicine today. And he's creating some incredible supplements and, and and who and who is he? Uh, Dr. Bear Lando. Bear Lando. Okay, that's one we've got to look up. I want to put that on my uh, website for others to know about. I'm always interested in what people like you, the experts in the field, particularly when it comes to uh, exercise and physiology and performance. Right. And well, so let's talk for a moment well, about one. Well, wait here. I'll add. I'll add one more in for you. Okay. There is a company called campobeauty.com, C-A-M-P-O beauty.com. Okay. And it's one of the purest wild crafted essential oils you're 
you'll ever find. Oh. They have organic carrier oil with the jojoba oil for the roll-ons. They have they have these peers for diffusers. So anyone looking for immunity, they have. It says that they have ethos for every different. They have formulas for every different ethos. So focus, energy, relax, sleep, immune, love, breathe, oh. muscle. And it's just unbelievable. And they come in roll-ons that you can put on your skin with that jojoba carry oil. And then they also come with peers for your custom diffuser that they have. And, and, that, and do you, can you get them online? Yes, campobeauty.com. Okay, or on it's Amazon? One the, yeah, one of the hottest essential oil companies. And, and a disclaimer, it happens to be my wife's brand that she's blowing up, but you'll see it in... Neiman Nordstrom Anthropology, FabFit Funds done multiple insertions with them. They're they're absolutely on fire. Oh, that is so good to know. Thank you for telling us. Well, we're always like to recommend uh, products that we know are are working because there's so much out there that it confuses people. You know, with wasting money on things that really are not going to work for you. And so when we find ones that do which is why uh, Water and Wellness is my one of my sponsors. And, you know, they have the hydrogen pro, uh, tablets that you can put in your water. Um, and they also sell a, a Aqua True, which is a water purification system, because we both know how much, how important water is to our health and the uh, purity of the water. And then yeah. they, they have uh, many other products, uh, D-Ribose, probably some that you already know about, but but anyway, Water and Wellness and Q360 carries their um, Quinton, the uh, the sea algae, um, which you just put a vial in your water along with the hydrogen and you drink that and it's a lot more uh, purified. So particularly if you're using a, an RO system and you wanna reintroduce the minerals. So, okay, but what is, um, when you look at your entire practice right now, what is it that most defines who you are? What part of it, uh, what gives you the greatest satisfaction uh, for who you are as a human being? Oh, uh, well, to go back to clinically, like what am I doing differently? I think I'll, I'll start with that first. Okay. I'm one of the only performance coaches that works with the nerves. So I do sensory motor nerve work and treat concussions. Like I don't know any other performance coach that has that in their bag of tricks so then that's one of my day-to-day -day things like literally people will come in and when i can get them about 20 percent stronger instantly through the nerve work it's and then we compound that that's one of the biggest differentiators the other thing the ever differentiator that defines me from everyone else is that i'm really big on eliminating the stressors out of the body and i, I think we met through q360 they were carrying these grounding bags of mine and the grounding bags are one of the one of the most incredible ways to repel electricity they're a deep sleep grounding bag they'll allow you to get into a deeper REM sleep so i i'm so so happy to be able to help the masses with mm -hmm. the products that's really one of the biggest things for me is is to be able to reach out and help more people and with my book coming out and with the grounding bags currently sold in doctor clinics throughout the country, like Q360, like Santa Monica Homeopathic Pharmacy, and many, many more. They are just catching on. And I'm so, so proud of that to be able to, like the best gift, Michelle, that you can give someone, or I feel you can give someone, is a gift of a good night's sleep. Mm. And, and that is exactly what these do. So I am that's that's one of my biggest things I'm I'm super happy about. Oh, okay, so let's talk about the science of the grounding bag for a moment as long as we've hit on that subject cuz that was coming up in my thought process anyway, so I'm glad you you uh, introduced it. So what is it that makes all of what you just said happen? What is it in the grounding bag that will yeah. accomplish those objectives? Well, we hand mine crystals. And these crystals are called colloid crystals. They are beautiful. They're pink. They've been compressed with water forever. They're absolutely stunning. But they're hot sealed. We have to keep them sealed. We, we can't open these or they'll dry out. They're, they act like makeup. They'll lose their form and function. 
when they're dried out. So we put these inside of a Faraday bag and, and then package it up in a, in a beautiful package like this. And you use it as is. You put it on or under your bed for the best night's sleep, but you must maintain that seal and keep it out of the heat or they'll dry out. So they're hand mined crystals, they're Tesla crystals that have a frequency and they have a water content inside of them that repels electricity. But it's literally, it's like walking around barefoot in a bag. It's the healing pulse of the earth in a bag. It's a Schumann resonance in a bag. Mm. So I guess I'm a little confused about how does a crystal make me sleep? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm trying to be scientific about this rather than just um, passionate because yeah. you know, we all try to embrace what we believe is going to make a difference. But then you want to know about the science behind it if, if you're at all grounded in more of the pragmatic. So Yeah, well, I, that's why I love this is this, there, the science is what tells the whole story. So, Michelle, humans have a negative ionic charge. The earth has a negative ionic charge and they call that the Schumann resonance, about 7.8 hertz or waves per second. The ocean has a negative ionic charge. Now, when we're in a delta dream state sleep, that's a brainwave state of one to four waves per second or one to four hertz. That's when we're the most restorative sleep we can get. When we're in a deeper REM for even longer, sometimes we'll even go below one hertz or wave per second. So our body optimizes at a very low frequency in a low spectrum. And the earth optimizes at a very low spectrum. So this is pure science. That's why walking around barefoot so medicinal, going on a vacation, putting your sand in the, uh, putting your toes in the sand or in, uh, in the water, like we just feel better when we do it. It's because it has a negative charge and it's a very low spectrum of the waves per second. Now, when we introduce into a home electricity, which can be 60 waves per second on up, just uh, onto hundreds of waves per second, and then we introduce dirty electricity, which would be thousands, 5,000 to 20,000 waves per second. And then when we introduce more Wi-Fi, which is the wireless, uh, basically radio frequencies, those are 2.45 billion waves per second to 20 billion waves per second. That interferes with our body because it's number one, those Wi-Fi is a positive charge and we have a negative charge. And then number two, they're millimeter waves. They're going at billions of waves per second. And it's basically like someone tapping you on your shoulder all night long saying, hey, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. You're going, no, 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 I don't want to talk to you. I'm wanting to sleep. <laughs> they're like, no, 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 talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. And then you go into this twilight sleep and you have life and you kind of, your mind starts spinning about everything that you have to do the next day. And so we don't get into the deep restorative sleep as much as as much as we would like but it's just pure science because our brain waves want to be at a low spectrum and then all this man-made stuff is in billions of ways positive charge 10 zeros faster than how we're designed to sleep rev and optimize so what the grounding bag does is that magnetic property that it has inside of it will repel the electricity and then it'll also heal you from the outside in. So it's a two tier deal and it just allows you to sleep better than ever. And it simply works. And I guarantee it, money back guarantee, it just works. People sleep better when they have the grounding bag on their bed or underneath their bed. How, how, did the, um, how does the public get the grounding bag? How do they buy it from you? They can go to any of our retailers, doctor clinics that sell it, uh, or they could purchase it online at emfrocks.com, like electromagnetic frequency rocks.com. So emfrocks.com, and you can get your grounding bags there. And, and, and I, I, yeah, real quick, I recommend three to five per 2,000 square feet. So if you have solar on your home, you're going to need more. If you have a cell tower, 
you're going to need more. If you haven't opted out of your smart meter to an analog meter, you're going to need more. Uh, so the more stressors you have, the, the more bags, the more mass of that mine you want to bring to your home and compile in one place. So we do three to five in one place on a floor, maybe on a tile floor in your bathroom would be best because the tile will conduct, conduct it a lot better. And then in addition to that, one in or under each bed is the protocol that we recommend. Is there, uh, in the future, is there going to be a larger bag that, that people wouldn't have to buy all these individual little bags and that way they get more coverage? Is that something no, that you're thinking about? Probably, probably, I mean, you can specially order you know, 15 pound bags, but the, the ones that I think the mass really loves is they can take these with them. They, if they are driving an electric car, Tesla, they can throw a handful of them in the, in the car and then they have some in their home. And so they can spread them out and use them for different places. So uh, mm. they can carry one with it. I'll, I'll have a pocket one that's a portable one that you can put in a pocket or purse because these are this is a one pound bag of crystals. So mm -hmm. uh, we have a smaller one that works really well that uh, we're, we're rolling out very soon, probably within the next uh, uh, five weeks, but it, more of a, a pocket size bag. Mm. So that's really exciting. Uh, and they just are fantastic for recharging your body because mold is charged by EMF, parasites are charged by EMF. So anyone with microtoxins or Lyme, uh, in, any injury, like a contusion, they could put it on the area. It'll help heal it. It'll mm. help quiet headaches. Uh, we'll use like the halo from Campo Beauty with the grounding bag and your headache will go right away. It's just been unbelievably medicinal uh, for menopausal, early menopausal challenges. The Wi-Fi just disrupts the system. So when you can normalize that, the menstrual cycle return, night sweats will dissipate, will go away, and you'll sleep through the night. You'll just it just works that well. What so what is the cost of the grounding bag? This this one pound grounding bag is one oh nine ninety nine. Yeah, plus okay. tax and shipping. EMFrocks.com one oh nine ninety nine. Is it the same if you went on Amazon or any of the other places? I haven't like the yeah, I'm not selling them on Amazon. No one else sells these. We have full rights access to the mine. So this is a one of a kind product. And uh -huh. that unless it's from EMF Rocks, it's not our crystals. And uh, it, this is going to be the strongest you can have. And, mm -hmm. unless, and, you know, unless you're getting it from the doctor clinics that sell mm -hmm. our bags. So, so Dr. Ricola just wrote the book EMF. Have you read, have you read that book? I haven't read the whole thing. No. Do you do you have you, you obviously know a little bit about his theory. So is he overplaying the EMF? Uh, no, he's spot, he's spot on. Everyone who's talking about this stuff is spot on on it. He's he's one of the brighter minds on this topic as well and and obviously he's one of the best resources in the health space for for all these different topics. So yeah, I, I mean, he doesn't have the solution that we have. Uh, unfortunately, the grounding mats, the ones you plug in the wall, anytime you're plugging something in isn't the best, isn't the best solution because the signal strength is just going to overwhelm that over a period of time. The, the solutions with copper chips on crystals that you put on phones or plug into walls, again, over time, those things will imprint the bat into you and they'll do a disservice to you. So these grounding bags, it's just basically God's gift of producing uh, rocks with charges. And we figure out a way to deploy them that is very effective, that doesn't plug into something and, and imprint the bat in you. So, and the more of them you accumulate, it sounds like a great sales pitch, but it's true. The more you accumulate, the better you're going to feel and the faster you're going to heal. So, you know, cell phones have become a way of life. And, and uh, of course, there's a lot of theory, um, not all scientifically backed yet. I think there's still, a, a, you know, big questions about whether cell phones are going, are causing brain cancer. And, um, you know, the one side says yes, and then 
they say it's a carcin or he, I think Dr. Mercola said it's a class uh, one, not class two, but class two. Okay, but someone else in some study said that it was a class one, but whatever it is, it's a, it's a carcinogen, carcinogen. So, but we use our cell phones every day. So, you know, my, my approach is to talk on the speaker, keep it away from my head, don't use a Bluetooth, and I know that the amount of usage that I have on the cell phone is still going to be so excessive that am I really doing enough? So what, what should I be carrying the grounding bag or should our viewers be carrying a grounding bag? Well, now that you'll have the portable one uh, all the time to offset the uh, cell phone usage and are the two ways, methods that I'm using uh, accurate to at least offset some of the danger? Yes, Michelle, definitely. Uh, you want to keep the proximity is the biggest thing. So if you're on speaker, you're going to be a lot safer. If you have the earbuds with the cords that have the silicon inside the, your ear, uh, not going directly in your inner, that's going to be better. You don't want the wireless stuff. That's an antenna in your inner ear. There's no skull that goes right in there. So you're basically getting radiation and antennas at 2.45 billion waves per second when your brain you know, revs at one to 10 like in your inner ear, like it's really, really scary to think about long-term how localized mm -hmm. those they're getting. Uh, mm -hmm. So definitely proximity is a big thing. It's keeping with the cords, fiber optic, anytime you can plug something in, fiber optic is faster, safer, it's more reliable, and there's, there's minimal health challenges. The lines just don't cross with uh, the fiber optic, you know, because it's hardwired. So uh, the, the incidents with China stealing our information the last few years from all the 4 or 5G that we have going on, like, that doesn't happen when you're hardwired. So hardwire your new homes. Uh, making them smart is not a wise decision. You, you want to you wanna have them so that you can turn stuff off but have it most of the, everything hardwired. As far as absorption rating with phones and, and everything, it, it, the, the challenge is is the new technology is called phased array. So they're the small cell sites, even though they haven't fully rolled out 5G, they're still like 30 billion waves per second. So it's over 4G and 4G decharges you. And, and it's uh, 4G is equally as daunting. And, but what happens is, is they're creating these small cell sites everywhere and the accumulation of them is the is the challenge so the cumulative effect on it, it's like a uh it's like uh it, it basically 4g 5g uh and your smart meters the cell phones like everything they're creating this internet of thing that cumulative effect is like 50 times 5g and then the nuclear it, it picks up so this is all physics it picks up the power plant like a nuclear like we have san onofre near so so people that live near that and have 4 or 5G, that's going to amplify the nuclear effects. So you're going to see people needing to detox from uranium, tritium, plutonium more than right. they've had to in the past. So it's going to be um, a super challenging thing. But this phased array technology is like they have 16, four rows of four, uh, these small cell sites, they're the size of a finger or, or smaller, and they can move about 20 or so degrees. So they go right directly to... A, a phone that has 5G capabilities on it. And so if you're the only one on the street at night, all those signals are going to go right through. <laughs> and it's a laser. So with the, the signal strengths, I mean, most of the phone companies will say, hey, they've done their ratings with holding the phone way away from them, not putting it right up to your head. So definitely stay away from it. Kids don't have a blood brain barrier skull fully developed till they're 24. So keep that away from them and just shut down pregnant women the fetuses have zero zero defense so even if you're on your phone at all you have to have a grounding back on you or you're just wow. going to be cooking your fetus that dna challenges fertility is a huge challenge because the population replenishment rate is depleting and a lot of it's from fertility dna the women's ovaries absorb 10 times the amount of radiation than any other part of the body the guy's sperm will will deplete, de deplete we can reproduce it, but there's still some DNA damages done uh, when you're having laptops on your laps and such. And so we really right. want to keep this, uh, keep all this stuff at bay. Again, stay away from solar homes. 
that's going to cause lots of dirty electricity because it's a battery storing it. You don't want to sit on an electric car with the with the battery underneath you because it's sitting on a battery. I mean, if if you've ever had any rechargeable battery after recharge it, that battery's hot, uh, and you just don't want intuitively you don't want to hold it. Can you imagine a massive battery the size of your car that you're sitting on? Like I can't even sit on on a in a Tesla. It, it like it's it checks off electricity, dirty electricity in radio frequency at the highest level. And those are the three main electrical stressors. So uh, personally, we just, we just have to have that awareness and, and get away from those types of things because it's not a net zero. They're still, they're still unfortunately using coal uh, to produce the batteries. They, don't ha they haven't figured out how to, uh, how to actually recycle the batteries. So our landfills are left with dead batteries. So, we're in California, they're mandating all this solar, and I'm just going, oh man, we have to figure out a way how to, number one, well, ground this electricity, wire it better. Dave Stetzer, Stetzer Electric, says that, you know, a lot of it's a manufacturing challenge. So when we can get these levels grounded properly and wired, so the, the signals going into a junction meet the same level going out of it, we can wire our technology a lot safer for us. So the signal strength's not as high, but even such, it's still a different charge. So that's why these grounding bags have been so, so they've been a godsend and blessing for so many people. Mm. Justin, that was incredibly helpful, what you just described. And, you know, it, it does remind all of us how complicated life in the modern world, the technologically driven world uh, that life can be and that how we now kind of outsmart ourselves. We create these technologies, but then they have their side effects that cause us to have to take other steps to protect ourselves from the great advancements in technology. So we've run out of time. I knew this would happen to us because there's so much we could talk about. I know I could speak to you. We could speak together for an, at least another hour and not have any pauses. So we'll probably want to have you back some point after your book is out if that's okay with you, Thank so we you. can talk more in depth about the book and how it's gonna help us uh, to be more healthy human beings. Um, I know you said you wanted to and offer- one last thing I wanted to, oh, oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. One last thing I wanted to offer, and I didn't tell you about this, but it's a surprise for everyone. So I have a Faraday bag. This actually protects you from your phone and your phone from you and your uh, electronics from getting information stolen or an electromagnetic pulse. I wanted to give away uh, the first 12 people that contact Michelle and, and me. I want to give you guys a Faraday bag. So you got 12 of your viewers will get to, to receive a free Faraday bag. Oh, that's fabulous. Well, you know, the web, my website is agelessandtimeless.com and or they can contact you at your website, which you said is emfrocks.com, correct? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, that's a beautiful gift, and I hope our viewers will take you up on your offer. So uh, I'm being signaled that we've <laughs> gone beyond okay. our time now. So thank you so much, Justin, and we'll be back thank in you, touch Michelle. with you. Okay. Good luck in everything thank you're you. doing for, for humanity. Thank you, Justin. Bye-bye. Well, I hope our viewers realize what um, content we've had today and how much uh, difference it can make in our awareness and our ability to take responsibility for our own health. Uh, there are some simple steps that Justin gave us that names of some companies that we can contact. And of course, the uh, information that he provided that he's spent years and years of uh, development on uh, 22 years, he said. So uh, we've been very blessed to have him here today. And there's just so many more doors we have to open here, particularly as 5G uh, becomes a commonality uh, in our lives. So uh, we will have him back when the book comes out. And um, in the meantime, uh, I hope those first 12 people will take advantage of the Faraday bag, which will be a first step towards reducing the EMFs in, in, your, in your life and, and the negative effects they have on your health. So thank you very much for being with us again. This is Michelle Hughes at Ageless and Timeless saying goodbye and have a beautiful day.